AI solutions are, are at their most effective when you actually custom build them for very well-defined applications. So we realized that in fact there's a huge opportunity here for somebody to build a custom AI assistant that focuses entirely on the teacher, their workflows, what they're trying to accomplish, and allow them to essentially carry out their goals in a much more efficient manner. The New Reality, a look at the future of consumer technology. With your host, Poppy Crumb. I'm Poppy Crumb. Welcome to the ARM New Reality series, where we explore the future of consumer technology. The biggest transformations in education are about connectivity. It's always about how do we use technology to enable learning. I spend a lot of time thinking about how we bridge the digital and the human world. Um, how the advances that are happening in machine learning and AI that are transforming our the devices we carry around every day can make our worlds better, uh, can connect us more. When you think about how our technology learns about us, and, and that's the important thing, you know, the brain is dynamic, the brain is learning. What we're trying to figure out as neuroscientists is how those learning algorithms work. You know, what neural correlates are supporting these different types of data that are coming together. Suddenly you have this transformation where the chips in our devices are able to be even more efficient in some cases at what data it takes in, how it's responsive to the human, how it's responsive to each of us in our environments. One of the things that's really transformed how we use technology and use mobile devices in our education is the quality. Uh, it used to be the case that you know assets, the things that you use, the videos you show, the um, access to experts was you know limited and narrow, and now. The, the purpose of an educator is to look across the global expanse and know that access to all experts is, is there and to the way they think about a problem. You can bring that sort of empowerment to every student everywhere. Um, it's completely raised the bar in education, but in a way that's you know, scalable and shareable. Merlin Mind is using the power of AI to create digital assistants that aid teachers in running their classrooms. I'm uh, Satya Netta, CEO and co-founder of Merlin Mind. I love creating technology to make the world a better place. Merlin Mind is an AI company. We like to think of ourselves as an AI solutions company, moving the whole field of digital assistance into the enterprise and into the workforce. Our first product is focused on teachers, a teacher-focused AI assistant that we call Merlin. It's actually a complex product. The Merlin assistant is a bit like a Siri or, a, or Alexa, but it lives in a first-party product that we call Symphony Classroom which is a hardware uh, product. It's an AI hub, and it lives in the classroom as a piece of infrastructure. It's meant to control the main display as well as uh, control all the other devices in the classroom like document cameras, teacher laptops, student laptops, etc. And uh, Merlin lives within Symphony Classroom. Uh, it also lives within teacher's laptops. Currently have it connected to this TV, but you can imagine that we're in an actual classroom and it's connected to an interactive display or a projector. I also have it paired to my computer and connected with an HDMI cable. I've done this so I can control all of the teacher content on my laptop with my voice and this remote. Hey Merlin, set a timer for 15 minutes. The foundation for this company uh, actually comes from the work that we did at IBM Research. Uh, so me and my co-founders were all at IBM Research and we were focused on trying to build AI solutions for education. AI today is really all about picking very well-defined, well-scoped problems. And what we are about is not about pushing the limitations of AI, but about taking, working within the limitations and doing something really imaginative and really useful with it. To enable teachers uh, to teach better, to in fact enable teachers to have more time focused on the, on the mission of teaching their children than on having to deal with things like uh, technology and uh, switching between various applications and uh, various devices, etc. The typical teacher's workflow consists of coming into the classroom, 
hooking up to the display and then switching between various applications. They are basically uh, tethered to their desks and tethered to their computers. Using Merlin has really changed the dynamics of my classroom. Before Merlin, I would walk around with like a wireless keyboard, but now just even the voice, if we're looking up something like we wanted to find out how we say you're welcome in sign language because we say thank you in the classroom and we asked Merlin, a video popped up, we watched it really quick and we moved on. You know, I want my students to have that visual so I don't need to prep beforehand because Merlin does it for me. Anything that just comes up, uh, we have that answer with Merlin. I could just go with the flow and it's very helpful. The Symphony Classroom appliance that we built is an edge AI appliance and what that means is we do processing at the edge on the device, so it's not happening uh, exclusively in the cloud. We actually do a lot of AI processing on the device. Doing the processing on the device allows us to offer much better privacy, uh, much better latency, and, uh, and it's a very critical um, aspect of our technology because this enables us to assure our uh, customers that their, uh, their sensitive biometric data is never being compromised and in fact uh, we don't monetize the data, we delete it instantly uh, and all of that is possible because we have an Edge AI appliance. This is a fairly heavy workload that we have to do on the device. But we also had a very unique requirement which is this is a device that has a far field microphone on the device. But the moment you have far field microphones, any uh, noise within the system itself like a fan to cool the processor uh, will interfere dramatically with the ability of the microphone to pick up voice commands from, from within, within the classroom. So what was very critical for us then is to be able to do these very heavy AI processing, speech recognition, natural language understanding, all of these happening on the processor without uh, having to use a fan to cool the processor. So this then forced us down the path of looking at uh, RISC uh, processors and ARM has some of the best uh, low power processors on the, on, the, on the planet and we realized that we can have all the processing that we, can, uh, we, uh, that we need while staying within the 20-25 watt power envelope which meant that we did not have to do any active cooling like a fan on the device. Search YouTube for shark videos. We like to think of ourselves as one of the companies that is pushing the whole field of digital assistance forward. So we feel this particular template is something that's repeatable. Uh, so we can go study deeply the workflow of nurses or IT professionals or finance professionals, for instance, and enable them to access right, the power of AI with, uh, with a single click or a single voice command. And the AI then does multiple steps for them and uh, automates uh, routine tasks for them. This is a really interesting direction to take digital assistance in, and we feel that this is a necessary evolution of uh, the technology that uh, Watson and Siri and Alexa uh, pioneered. ARM's mission is to deliver secure and power efficient technology wherever compute happens. We try to deliver sustainable technology by which I mean it needs to be human centric. It needs to help individuals perform their tasks quicker and easier to simplify the complexity of technology nowadays. We see the promise of AI everywhere being a revolutionary promise. I very much see AI as augmented intelligence, not artificial intelligence. What do I mean by that? I think sustainable AI development very much, as we mentioned before, needs to help individuals. So one thing that Merlin Mind uh, mentioned that resonates with me quite a lot, which is that the future of work is more about digital assistance, more about enabling teachers to perform tasks easier. And that I think is the right way to think about the future of um, machine learning. With the advances of AI capability, some of the things that we talked about uh, in the past will become commonplace. So we as humans have um, interacted over the last few million years using language, using facial expressions, using body language. 
And in order to be more relevant and to be invisible in the way AI will help us, we can certainly see, if not now, but in the very near future, the ability to to predict intent without us vocalizing. In order to have a sustainable path to that vision, the key not only is power efficiency, because the amount of compute for data transfer, data processing, and AI machine learning will increase. The challenges of having the right data architecture, the right security and privacy architecture to ensure that our most private information and intent are used for our own benefit. So these are, I think, are some of the challenges that we are addressing in our latest technology developments. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode.